Today I'm going to teach you how to make a bushcraft ratchet strap. Pretty awesome. It is pretty awesome. So what's up guys, this is Dan Colecracker Bushcraft. Today I'm gonna to teach you a way to make a ratchet strap. Now, we're not tying things to truck beds, but sometimes as bushcrafters and outdoor goers, we like to tie things to our backpack or maybe a wool blanket underneath our backpack. Even something as simple as a bag that the zipper broke, you can utilize this technique to tighten that thing down and then loosen it when needed. So let's take a quick look at what we need for this. First thing we're gonna need is para... <laughs> We're gonna need paracord, like manly paracord. <laughs> Just kidding. But you do need paracord. And then you're gonna need a small stick. That stick does need to be drilled out in the center, so you're gonna need to put um, a hole in there. Now, yesterday's video, we talked about how to put a hole in a stick if you don't have a drill. But if you're home, you can use the good old power drill. If you have a gimlet or augers, feel free to use that. However you can get a hole in the middle of that little toggle, you're good to go. Now, once you have those components, um, one thing I'm going to say is that once you make one of these and you see what your application is, you can vary the size from very small to very large. Um, so that's gonna depend on what, what you're doing, okay? So I'm not gonna give you how long the paracord should be or how long the toggle should be. Um, but once you have those things, you're gonna take one end of your paracord and you're gonna tie a loop that doesn't slip. So no slip knot, just some type of loop. I have a bowline knot here. And now on the other end of the paracord, we're gonna take our toggle with the hole in it and we are going to slide it through. It's okay if it moves, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just tie some type of knot here so the toggle can't come off. So just tie some type of real fancy knot and that's what we got. So this is what we're working with right now. Literally at this point, the project is complete. You just have to know how to use it. Okay, so for this demo, I'm just gonna use a wool blanket. You're gonna see how much it compresses. Um, of course, if you were doing this on a backpack, you'd wanna make two of these things and do it that way, okay? But um, so here's what you're doing. You're gonna take your loop, and your toggle, separate them, and then you're gonna place that around the object that you are interested in ratcheting down, okay? Really easy. Now, pull your toggle tight, and you're gonna feed it through the loop. What you don't wanna do though is feed that end string through the loop also. The end string should be tailing behind the toggle so it looks like that. So now with this tail end, what you're simply gonna do is start to pull and then I turn this back and pull and pull and pull and pull. What's happening is the paracord is binding on itself in this point. So you can make this thing super tight. It doesn't go anywhere. Okay, and we'll bind your stuff onto whatever it is. To get this out, simply just play with the toggle a little bit. It loosens up and off comes your toggle system. So again, toggle into the loop, keeping the tail end back. Pull this thing tight, ratchet, ratchet, ratchet till you get super tight how you want it and you're good to go. That ain't going anywhere. So there you go, that's a bushcraft ratchet strap. Fun, easy project. You can make these things ahead of time, keep them in your bag. When you need it, you got it, okay? Um, so tons of different uses for these things out here. You can even take a pile of file, firewood if you're collecting small material, put this around, ratchet it, make it tight, easier to carry back to camp. So lots of good stuff there. Give this one a shot. Also, um, click that button below. That'd be great, the subscribe button. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's today video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you like this, of course, like I said, please subscribe and hit like. You can also check out all our stuff over at coldcrackerbushcraft.com, classes and merchandise and our blog and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, until the next video, stay in the woods.